hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geoboxing empire back from boxing nah man huge news man apparently body vada testing is gonna happen in this earl spence mikey garcia fight man and this is wild man because if you've been watching boxing for a while um at one time people were accusing Errol Spence on being on that juice because um he wasn't enrolled in Vada and people were speculating that he was on that juice and you know he needs to get enrolled in Vada even though that Errol Spence is in the IBF he has the IBF belt which doesn't uh doesn't have the Vada organization as a you know um procedure you know, if you're in the WBC rankings or the WBA rankings, it's required. I think it's top 10 or top 15, correct me if I'm wrong, but you need to be enrolled in VADA. If you're if you're a, a top 10 or 15 fighter, you need to be enrolled in VADA or they would drop you from your rankings. So since Errol Spence was not enrolled in VADA, people already just assumed he was on that juice. And plus, there's other, there's other people in, um, speculating that his physique is a little weird He's, they, they say he's chiseled up, but his nipples are fat. <laughs> and they say because his nipples are fat or some sh weird shit like that, that he could be on that juice. You know, I, I, it's, it's some YouTube expert, you know, so, so some expert out there. You know, a lot of people speculate. And then um, lately, Mikey Garcia uh, has bulked up as well. And people were saying, you know, he's looking a little big. You know what I mean? Make sure there's testing. So people were speculating about Mikey Garcia, too. Uh, about being on that deuce. But now that this Vada test is happening, man, there's going to be no excuses, man. It's going to be a clean fight. And, um, you know, like I said earlier, man, if you guys if you guys let these casuals tell it, both of these fighters will be on steroids because there's people on both sides accusing Mikey on steroids and there's people on both sides accusing uh, Errol Spence on steroids. So this will finally clear all those silly rumors once and for all. And th th so this is a really big deal, man. In my opinion, um, all big fights should have battle testing in it, man. You should never enter a big fight with a cloud of suspicion. And, you know, boxing is a dangerous sport. You know, you're hitting a guy in the head, you know, and you're, you know, all you do every day is throw punches out of bag to practice and get better at throwing punches. So, you know, you better make sure that guy is natural because it's already dangerous as it is. You give him a, a natural advantage, you know, it can be deadly. It can be deadly. So I'm really excited this Vada thing is um, happening, man. Who knows, man? Maybe one of them might pop, man. That would be huge news, man, if that happened. And <laughs> it will it will just it will probably ruin whoever pops career, you know? I'm, I'm excited this is happening, man. This is what I want. Everyone wants a clean sport. We want a clean sport, you know? But I don't want, you know, some, you know, steroid guys running around who, who, you know, who can afford the, the latest, greatest, most expensive steroid, you know, weighing these fights. Nobody nobody wants to see that. And if people want to see these fighters get there by hard work and dedication and working hard, eating good, and living a clean lifestyle. So, yeah, man, that, that's how I feel about it, man. I feel like I'm glad this is happening, this Vada test. And, you know, hopefully no, no one pops. But if they do, that would be a crazy story, man. That would be a crazy story. I mean, I mean, their career would basically be over if they pop. Um, now, if you guys put things in perspective, um, like I said earlier, the IBF does not have this. Uh, the VADA testing is not mandated. It's just in a WBC and a WBA. WBO and the IBF do not have VADA testing. Now, the same thing happened with uh, Billy Joe Saunders when he was going to fight a fighter. I forgot who he was going to fight. But he actually popped dirty for a WBO. They actually had, um, he's fighting a high profile fight, and they said, nah, we're gonna test for this fight. So Billy Joe Saunders takes the test, <laughs> he fails the test, and then he gets stripped for a WBO title. You know, that's a huge deal. That was a huge news at the time, you know, and, and the thing is, you know, all these organizations should be paying Vada to make sure these fighters are clean. You can't be just having champions who shouldn't be champions because. They're champions because they had an unfair advantage, you know. Billy Joe Saunders had a lot of rocky fights. I remember um, he was fighting some guy named Wolverine, and Wolverine, this guy named Wolverine, destroyed Billy Joe Saunders. It wasn't even close. And then, you know, next time, next thing you know, Billy Joe Saunders fights David Lemieux. He fights him in Canada, and then he's looking like he's looking like Floyd in there. He's looking like Ali in there. He destroys uh, 
uh, David Lemieux, which everyone was shocked about. It was just, it didn't make any sense. He was looking too good. So that being said, we know why he was looking good because he was on that juice, you know, and we don't know how long he was on it for a while. We don't know how long he was on it. You know, that's what happens when you pop dirty. We pop dirty. Anyone could say, you know, anything you've done in your career should be taken, you know, with, uh, with ha- should have an asterisk over it. You know, it should have an asterisk over it because we don't know how long you've been on that stuff for, you know. So it's really important that these fighters get tested, man. You know, um, if any fighter, if any superstar, in my opinion, is fighting without getting body tested, I, I'm speculating on that guy, period. I, I'm, that's me personally. I'm speculating on that guy. Even Canelo Alvarez had a fight uh, at uh, 175 fighting um, Rocky Fielding. No testing in that fight. You know what I mean? It's just weird stuff going on. Now, could Canelo beat Rocky Fielding without, the, without you know, getting tested? Sure, but that's not the point. The point is, any big name, if you're, if you're, if you're fighting a big name fighter, you know, you need to make sure that, he, that guy is clean. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of money involved in boxing. And if they can get an advantage, they will get an advantage. So, man, that's how I feel about it, man. Let me know how you guys feel about the uh, the new reports, man, about the vital testing between Errol Spence and uh, Mikey Garcia. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. I think it's great. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobossing Empire. Peace.